Hey everybody out there, we're going to do a new plant today, this is a Sarissa. Um, I don't know much about these things, but let's give it a try, we're going to put it into this pot. I'm super stoked, let's get started. So the plant itself I got, I think for 10 bucks in Chinatown. The pot was seven, I believe. But what's cool is this, I think I can get a couple plants out of this. So we're right today, we're gonna do the big one, uh, the bigger section. So that's gonna be, let's, let's say this is the $7 section. And this is a $7 pot. So we'll call this whole project 14 bucks. Sweet. So I totally don't know anything about these kinds of plants. I mean, uh, in fact, when I bought it, it wasn't even labeled. It, I, I forgot. She called it something else, but it was at one of those gift shops in Chinatown. And I normally don't buy stuff from there, but I saw this plant with all with the root structure and everything, and I thought, man, it's really cool. Um, but I took it home and researched it, and I think what it is is a variegated uh, sarissa plant, uh, which I found out can be temperamental sometimes and don't like super cold temperatures and stuff so I've actually been bringing it in at night so that it doesn't uh, die but you know I haven't got I purposely haven't gotten too attached to it because I don't um, you know in case it doesn't make it I don't want to feel like I lost a close friend or anything so I've just been kind of like making sure it's watered and everything and waiting for some time when I can sit down and, and pot it so yeah I'm not I'm not gonna be uh, I'm not gonna beat myself up over it if it doesn't make it but for the time being, it looks so cool, and I'll really try to keep this guy alive. So we'll start just by, uh, the soil's already really wet, so we'll start just by getting it out and checking out the roots. Pretty big root ball here. So like I said, I think I can get two plants out of this at least, so I'm going to break it up and separate that right now. Um, so, oh wow, there's actually a rubber band in here I'm discovering. Hmm, that's weird. Just kidding. Let me just cut it. That's so weird. So, anyway, here's one of the plants I could do something with. Uh, maybe I'll put this one into a smaller pot, which I have some, so that'll be cool. I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll show the video of this guy, and then, um, not on camera, I'll put this guy in a pot too, so I'll show both of them at the end. So, that'll be fun. So for now, let's take this guy rubber band and all. Let's get it all cleared out. Um, what's cool is if you could see all the roots are there's a lot of really exposed roots and they all kind of shoot down into uh, they kind of all have their own tap root it looks like but a lot of fibrous roots so man I don't want to take out too much of those especially if this is a sensitive plant already I don't want to put it under more stress but here it goes. <laughs> um, it's weird, yeah, each root kind of has its own thing going on, so I'm trying to figure out how I could wire this guy into place, but, um, man, this is so bizarre. Oh, there was a dead root there, so just super brittle, just snapped right off. Um, alright, let's see here. So here's what we got. I'm going to get rid of some of this. Um, this over there. Here's what we got from this guy. This is really bizarre. More dead roots. Let me pull those out. Um, so, yeah, as far as putting it in the pot, though, so obviously I'm going to have to trim some of these down. So, let's, uh, let me get rid of this bottom portion here. Um,. This might be another dead one, actually, which is a bummer because that's a really cool one. Yeah, it's dead. So let me just cut back with that. Oh, a little too big for my clippers. So let me just break it off. Um, yeah, I don't want to cut too much off. I don't want to stress out the plant, but cut a little bit at the bottom of this off and of this off. So now we got kind of this going on in the plant, or in the pot, kind of look like that. Yeah, I think that can be pretty cool. So, um, yeah, I don't really know if I could wire this guy. 
Well, you know, I'll try. See what I can do. So, I use really cheap galvanized well, anyway, I use really cheap galvanized wire. This is probably horrible to use, but because it rusts, it actually rusts pretty easily. A lot of my plants that I used this on a year ago, the wire is already breaking, but anyway, poor man style, right? So let me go find some clickers for this and I'll be back. So I spent some time uh, kind of trying to figure out how I was going to position this thing. I didn't want to film that and bore you guys with how long that took. But I got the wire in. Still not sure how I'm going to wire it. We'll figure that out right now, I guess. I've got some of the dirt in, and it's got this plant has all these legs. Um, it's like an ent. It's like tree beard. So uh, I'll just kind of plant each leg in into each section of the. It's kind of its own corner of the pot, and. Uh, and then I'll start adding in the soil around it. Like I said, guys, I'm not attached to this plant. I would love for it to live, but um, I'm probably not doing the best job at, at uh, getting this guy, getting this guy the correct environment and everything and soil and stuff. But um, so far, it's been doing well here. Oh, there's a broken branch. So far, it's been doing well here. I've had it for about a month now, um, so it is doing okay, but. Uh, I'm just not going to get my hopes up too high just because I, I read, some of you maybe wouldn't agree, but I read on a few different places that these are not good beginner plants. These are better for someone who has more experience with temperamental plants and, you know, kind of sensitive plants, but we'll see how it goes. Um, so let me get my stick, same stick from the last video, kind of get, get this packed in around the roots. Um, soil's already been pre-wet, um, I might give it a watering again after this anyway, but kind of push it in all around the roots there, um, and so it's looking pretty cool, uh, kind of reposition it a little bit. Now the wire, like I said, I don't really know what I'm going to do, so I think I'm looking at one, this root right here kind of does a 90 degree angle, so I'll probably just bring the wire over the top of that little turn, and then take it here, and then we'll just twist it on like that. Um, that'll help just kind of anchor it. Um, that way it's kind of wrapped around that wire, so it won't, at least if you look, it's not it's kind of pulling the pot, so it's in there pretty good. Um, you can reposition it here. A little bit more stick action, a little bit more soil. Um, Alright, so I'm cool with that, so let me trim off the wire here. Alright, so that looks pretty cool. So now I'm just going to trim it, give it the plant some uh, help as it's trying to adjust to its new pot. I'm going to trim it back. Um, the leaves are really pretty. They're real small, so they give it a great bonsai look. It's probably why this is a pretty popular um, bonsai from what I've discovered. A lot of people like to like to do these. Um, I definitely, it's definitely a plant I want to learn more about. So, because it is beautiful. I mean, the leaves are perfect size. That the roots are awesome. I really give it a really cool kind of tropical look. Uh, now, if you could tell there are some dead branches here, here, and here. And I think what I'll do is maybe I'll um, kind of break these up. In fact, let me try that right now, just to give it some kind of dead wood look. But, but. Without a without like a clear cut, so it looks kind of fake. So, wave it at my neighbor. Uh, so that's looking pretty cool. 
And I think that's it. I might add a rock or something, but I like how that looks. Um, I've been taking it in at night because I heard these can't you know, handle low temperatures, so I keep it in our bedroom, and then in the morning I try to remember to take it outside. But there's that guy. So what I'll do is I'll just get the other one in a pot as well, and then we'll, uh, I'll show you both of them. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys got something out of it. Uh, if you have any tips on taking care of Sarissa's, please comment down below. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead and press like and subscribe for more. See you next time.